I'll bet you didn't know the real reason ethnobotanicals are banned everywhere. Let's unravel this tangled web together. Back in the day, ethnobotanicals like ayahuasca and iboga were revered for their spiritual and medicinal use. But then, the 20th century rolled in and things got complicated. In the US, the Controlled Substances Act of 1970 slapped these substances with a Schedule I label, thanks to their association with the counterculture movement and Big Pharma's desire to push synthetic drugs. The UK and Canada followed suit, driven by global trends and the war on drugs, while Australia took a similar stance. Even the United Nations got involved with conventions that pressured nations to toe the line. And let's not forget colonial times when Western powers and missionaries deemed these sacred plants as pagan and suppressed their use. The pharmaceutical industry loved this as it paved the way for profitable synthetic meds. But here's the twist. Modern research is rediscovering the immense therapeutic benefits of these natural substances. So could the future hold an ethnobotanical renaissance? Stay tuned.